Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Penny Hardaway. Massive shout out to my boy Brian for letting me use his account to record this gameplay. He is the same dude who has pulled 200 overalls, um, the luckiest man on the planet. Um, and he has pulled Penny Hardaway as well. So, very excited to try this card out. Obviously, as I have said in all of my videos, I am actively encouraging people to not open packs. I would actively encourage you to not even open packs with MT anymore. I don't think interacting with this content at all is smart. It is my, my job though to make videos on this content. If you don't like it, sorry, I gotta pay my bills. So sorry if you don't like it, I'm gonna keep doing it. Regardless, I actively encourage y'all not to support this type of content and hopefully we see change in the near future, but who knows? Regardless, Penny will be really good. I'm excited to try him out. Um, before we happen, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's see what Penny Hardaway is looking like. So Penny is uh, six foot seven at PG, 99 offense, 99 defense, 94 driving layup, 94 mid range, 93 three ball, 90 driving dunk, uh, 80 standing, 97 ball handle, 84 block, 92 steel and perimeter, 90 interior, and 95 speed to a ball and excel, 95 vert, and 87 strength, 95 stamina, 94 lateral quickness. Great all around card, especially at a PG spot. He is amazing looking. Super, super complete Hall of Fame badges. That's one of the things that's really nice about Penny is how well rounded he is in terms of playmaking, finishing, shooting, and defense. Uh, and then even gold badges, same type of thing. He's got gold anchor. He's got really everything he basically needs. Um, the badges you do want to add, the very few that he does not have. Brick wall is one of them. He can't get a movable enforcer. Outside of that, really nothing important. He comes with everything else important on the base card, which is really, really nice. Now, here's the main question at the end of the day with this uh, Penny Hardaway. How's the release on quick? I am in the wrong team right now. Hold on. Let me make sure I get the right team in here. But um, that is the main question. I think that's really the only question with Penny is his release is only on quick. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know his release on his on normal was not that great. On quick, it is also in all likelihood not that great. Which means not that he's a bad card. He's still an amazing card. But I do think you could very much make the argument that he's not like anything particularly special. So drag back, um, push cross. I think he's got MJ dribble style. It looks like, uh, yeah, definitely MJ dribble style now. So they changed his dribble style. But we'll see what it's behind the back he's got. Not a great behind the back. I will say it's a little slow. Escape is money though. Is that Trey escape? Oh my goodness. The release is smooth and easy to green. I'm not going to lie. It's not like it's, I would say it's about the same as freaking Brandon Ingram's release, to be honest. Maybe even a little quicker, debatably. It's not horrible. It's just not great. Jason Kidd release, kind of similar to that too. Like, um, y'all haven't seen gameplays with those cards yet, but I already recorded gameplays with them as y'all are seeing this video. So those will be coming out later today. But like super athletic, really good moving PG, great card. This is maybe like one of the best from today's drop. His movement is really good. The release is the weakest aspect of the card, but really the only semi-weak aspect of the card. And even that is not a huge, huge problem in my opinion as a whole. Penny is a great card. He's one of the most well-rounded and elite options in the game at the PG spot. But at the same time, is he better than SGA? Is he better than Reeves? Is he better than Harden? Is he better than Moncrief? Is he better than all the point guards that people already likely have on their account? The answer to that question is, well, probably not. I mean, is he? Is this the best point guard in the game? I don't think so. I would probably rather have a couple other guys for the way that my play style is. But is he in the discussion? 100%. Will some people say he's the best? Probably. Good card, no doubt. I'm excited to try him out. 100% still not worth gambling for. Let's hop into a game. Let's see what Penny Hardaway can do. All right, our opponent has Magic, Reeves, Shaq, Gordon Hayward, and AK. This dude's just trying to complete agendas. I'm sorry. You matched up against an incredible team and um, Penny Hardaway at point guard. This team is ridiculous, obviously. This dude, Brian, has the greatest account I've ever seen. He's got uh, KG and Kareem. Yes, I understand. That's absurd. It's kind of fun to use though. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. I'm not gonna sit here and sit here and lie to y'all. I'm kind of kind of excited about it. So the fact that I get to use 200 overalls is pretty exciting. Of course, as I say that, I immediately miss with one of them. KG misses and uh, not a great start to the game by any means. Contest the corner, click on, and he does get inside dunk. First possession of the game. Good start by him. On the offensive end, let's see what he, we'll see what we can do. Pick and pop here with Kareem. Let's tack this pick and okay, come on. He's hard. We know what you're doing, bro. You hard off balling. I never played anybody who plays like this before. Hard off ball on their um. On their center, I would have never seen that one coming, and I miss what not wide open, apparently 8% covered, but miss another shot there, so not a great start to the game. Now, let's see what we can do here, switchable, um, get back, yo, standing again, wow, okay, so 
Down for nothing. Not a good start to this game. Getting kind of cooked so far. Not ideal. Um, can I get an actually good screen and like not have magic insta shed? There we go. Get downhill to the ram. Beautiful dunk. Beautiful stuff. All I got to do is get his CPU to touch the screen there, and I can get to work with Penny Hardaway. But not the best first couple possessions. That's okay though. Only down two points. I feel like we'll be all right. The good thing about this is I can go way under on magic. I have no issues with that. Not to mention, I can just paint it off a of shack if I want to. If I'm being lazy, but probably not going to do that. But at the same time, it would work. Contest here. Good D. Beautiful. That should be. A board nope okay Shaq gets the board and Shaq goes back up and gets an a1 okay 100 overall kareem <laughs> wow that's fun okay well it doesn't matter how good your cards are sometimes algo is just not gonna be on your side uh seven to two games so far three minutes and 41 seconds left let's see if we can get back going towards that ram penny hardaway escape and get downhill again his cpu is gonna switch it which means i dump it down to kg kg gets inside gets an easy layup and misses the layup wow 100 overalls are not hooping right now i'm not even gonna lie this corner sitting defense is kind of cooking me too let's go penny getting to the rim it looks like the only way we can score right now is getting to the room with penny hardaway off of pick and pop maybe and that might be the strategy so i don't know uh either that or go pick and roll and try to create a switch this dude's just trying to cheese me basically i do not enjoy playing against people like this but what are you gonna do it's okay swing here um contest i whoa reese wide open no bad defense this has not been a good game at all yet i'm getting popped by a bad team this is this is not a good look man it's Hard off ball defense is obnoxious, no doubt, but like definitely need to be played better than we're playing so far. Spacing is horrible too, guys. Come on, man. Kobe and Kobe and Reem are standing right next to each other. Pop defense. I mean, I don't like it, man. I don't like it. I don't like the way this game's going at all so far. But we have over half the game left. Uh Penny with four points and one assist. He's a game manager point guard. He's not a primary ball handler point guard. He's a secondary ball handler, capable defender, versatile point guard. That's what he is. And that's fine. That's a good card, a very good card. But in a gameplay with the prime card, you got to use them as your primary in a lot of ways. I'm actually kind of struggling so far uh, and not incredibly impressed by what I've seen in this game. And he gets off the screen. Bro, I can't get a stop right now. He got a wide open three there too. I'm struggling way more than I should be struggling. Um, come off the screen here. Stop, pop, wide open. Penny, that's got to be green. Let's go. Big shot. Got space. Got the green light. Let's freaking go, Penny Hardaway. Like I said, the release is nice. When he gets open, you should have no issues, especially with how good his shooting badges and stats are at this point in the year. Should not have that hard of a time, especially considering he does have great sigs. So, like I said, he's one of the best, for sure, without a doubt. He's starting to show that, too. On both ends of the court, really playing at a high level right now. Unfortunately, gets blown by by Magic there. Literally no dribble moves. He just left sticked and ran around in a... Left sticked, ran around in a circle and got around me. I just... Ugh. And then I get an illegal screen. Literally, it does not matter how good your team is. Sometimes you can just get outgoed into a loss, and that is kind of what's going on right now. Three-point game, minute 46 seconds left. Let's see if Penny can play some defense here. Honestly, I don't care. Watch this. I'm sitting in the corner of possession. Watch how he can't score. Watch how he has nothing open. Watch this. He just runs back and forth with Magic at the top of the key. He calls this pick and roll, but I go under it. I X switch it. I play back here, and nothing's open. Like, I play it perfectly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so easy to guard. I don't even have to click on. I can just let my CPUs do it. Help out the corner. Look, I can do this every single play defensively if I want to, but I'm not a bum. Like, y'all are so lame playing like this. Catch, shoot, ream, fade, green. Let's freaking go. That is 100 overall because the centers will do. Have a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar fade in the corner and green in threes. Love to see it. I hate that that is such effective defense, though. It's so low skill, so terrible. I could just sit off the ball and get stops every play. You hate to see it. Penny does have play take, though, 7-2. and two. I like seeing play take on a PG. Very, very nice. I'm not playing defense like that. I just want to showcase that, as per normal, yes, I can also do it, too. And, yes, I am better than you at it, and I will have more success than you at it if you if I do it, too. It's just not how I'm going to play because I'm not a lame, terrible human. Well, a terrible human being might be a little harsh, but I'm, I'm not lame. Um... 12 to 12, 55 seconds left, run the floor in transition, attack the rim, hit it down, 2 kg, easy standing. Reset, actually, corner three, wide open, corner three, corner two, I think it was a two ball. No, it was a three, let's go, beautiful stuff. Penny does hit the three, and he's got 10 and two. I like this card, man. He is actually, so far, I think he's my favorite Opal. I'm going to be honest, of the Opals from today, I've used Wilt. I've used all of them except for DeMarcus Cousins at the time of me recording this video. At the time of me saying this, I've used all of them except for DeMarcus Cousins. And so far, Penny is my favorite. 
uh he moves the best and i feel like he despite his release not being extraordinary is probably the most viable as like a primary ish because of how good his sigs are and because he does move so well so um did not mean to do that that was supposed to be a low key that was not what that was supposed to be at all but that's okay get off the screen good boy oh my goodness that was position for a board there got to get a stop here 11 seconds left you can have a dunk if you want that's fine you can have that eight seconds left you know who's getting the ball penny hardaway you know who's gonna make some free throws and in this game finish this game out that's also gonna be penny hardaway four three you know what i'll just take a dunk instead that works too 1.1 seconds left give me the dunk i could have held the ball into the game i know i know i know i know but i wanted a few a couple more points with penny hardaway to finish off the game uh and yeah i don't feel too worried about him hitting a three here watch him hit a three or a four here and i just like eat my words horribly but i don't think that's gonna happen i, I hope not um no it's definitely not that is a terrible shot and that's game penny hardaway He's my favorite of the Opals today. 12 and 2, 5 of 5, 2 and 2 from 3. He's tough, no doubt. Top tier point guard, no doubt in my mind. Same time, still 100% not worth gambling for. Is he the best point guard in the game? You could make the argument. I'm not sure I would, but you could certainly make the argument. He is at the top of the list. It's him, Lonzo, SGA, Moncrief, Reeves, Kid. Bunch of good PGs, but that's the group. And he is in the top group. Where he wants to rank in that, kind of up to you. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.